Hey, Chris. Welcome to Building Up To It, episode 103. Three. Three. It's a Lego podcast. It's a Lego podcast. So, first of all, we got some comments. We got, we got some, some comments. comments that involve, we got some questions. Nope. First, that we have a question, this guy. Then we have a comment. A question, then a comment? I think they're all just comments, but there could be questions. <laughs> Uh, oh no, this one is a question. Scott, first, we have a question, then we have first a we comment. have a question from Scott, your fellow Canadian. Canadian, uh, he talks about Bricklink, blah blah blah. He said 2018 is a clear winner this week, which uh, it was when was when was that? Was two weeks ago, <laughs> and yes, it, it did win. Then he said, Did Matt go back into hibernation? Because <laughs> I just came out. And that's funny because uh, I've put back from back from the dead today. And I didn't know that comment was there. <laughs> so here I am back from back from the dead. And then I also got to see uh, Mr. Kevin Hinkle in person the on Hinkle. Friday. The Hink. And uh, he has, in fact, fallen way behind on watching the videos. He said if he watches, he's going to comment. So we'll know when he watches by his comments. I think we also left him some Easter eggs in there to find along the way, like you know, yelling at him or telling him to do something as soon as he hears that. And we'll know when we see the response if he yeah. got that far. But he asked me in person. I mean, has no, he, he didn't ask me. He, he, told, he responded to what I said. I said, hey, Kevin, you should uh, let us know when you get to the the 100th episode, we did it live, and Matt showed up, and it was fun. And Kevin goes, that is a milestone. Because <laughs> I showed up. That's the whole comment, yeah. Well, he missed uh, hashtag beef snake, so. Fuck, I did too. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was in episode 100. Beef snake, because I have beef with the uh, Harry Potter snake. <laughs> It's not snake beef. I think it was snake beef, but yeah. snake beef makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> beef so, snake. Um, <laughs> that's the uh, that's the comments. My hair's doing something weird over here. Uh, our topic tonight is Matt. Oh, hmm. Well, what have you been doing? Nope. What have you been buying? Nothing. What have you been building? Nah. Okay. Never mind. My topic tonight is not Matt. But Matt, did you get anything? Did you did you do anything? Did you see anything? Do you have anything to report? I have walked back into Lego Isles of late. Uh, it was funny. Now that I've like thought about buying Lego, I received more instagram ads about lego than i ever did when i bought lego it's like oh he's so goddamn close <laughs> he's so goddamn close like before they're like he's already buying it all leave him alone did you rush out and get the uh the carbonized clearance section for, the car for triple force friday carbonized clearance lego no i didn't see that okay. what was that nothing i made it up the Hasbro uh, Black Series has a carbonized version, is what they're calling it, where every store has one of the new six-inch Black Series figures that's like got a metallic finish to it. So you can get the regular one, or you can get the carbonized edition. Right. So and, is there uh, only one figure per store, or is it like one character per store? One, one character. They, they have a wave of the figures, and then each store... Like Walmart has that wave, but one yeah. of the figures in that wave they have a carbonized version as well. I think they have an uncarbonized version at the same store. You know That'd what? Something if like you know, you know Target had the carbonized Mandalorian, but not the regular one, something like right. that. But I think they all have the regulars. Since we're talking about Star Wars, I have a goddamn question for yes. anybody who knows more than I do. Can I get on fucking Blu-ray? The original trilogy without the horrible fucking shit in it 
the CG and the extra scenes and the horrible CG and the added stuff and the bad CG. Did I mention the bad CG shit? I just want the original theatrical films. And I was looking today, and it doesn't seem like it's a thing I can get. I, I don't think it is. I know that Pinkerton said on a recent sh- episode of something that he has he has some kind of like dubbed copy of the originals on a more modern medium. Is that like not that. like the most fucked up thing that you can imagine, though? Like, imagine... Let's just imagine for a second that Star Wars is a big deal. And maybe it was this huge thing that was built around three movies. I don't know. Let's just imagine it was for a second. Now let's say that like the fan base is still kind of all these old people who still really love those movies. Why can't they get them? Like all I've seen is Reddit articles from like and like big news outlets on the web articles from 2014 to 2019 all saying like well we should get it soon because disney owns it where the fuck is it like i don't even know if i I could get it on dvd can i I think that's the opposite uh since disney owns it they're notorious for only allowing people to buy things at certain times yeah i would think it's going to be harder to have them be available for purchase with well that's the thing they're never going to release them like crack the vault fuck faces like we want it i mean they're gonna it's gonna sell right anyways i don't know i think it's ridiculous i i have it on blu-ray and i have that horror like i never watched i just bought it like years and years ago probably 2015 2014 maybe 2012 i don't know and i went to put it on earlier this year or maybe the end of last year and it was just like i'm like what is happening see i don't believe that i've ever seen the originals in their original form like so i, you I know truly what? don't know what i'm missing i don't even like star wars that much and it pissed me off so much <laughs> to watch that happen that i was like i turned it off i couldn't even finish a new hope i was like i think i got a half an hour into it and i was like why are there cg lizards here for no reason, just because they could, they added stormtroopers riding CG lizards. This is all like the 1997 reissues we're talking no, about. No, you know, like <laughs> to the DVD. <clears throat> oh god, we gotta go. <clears throat> what a joke. We gotta go. What do I have? I have. Yeah, what'd you get? I have <clears throat> this. I have this one. <laughs> yeah, that's a DVD. Yes, it's the DVD original trilogy. Um, looking for a year. Looking for a year. The, the fuck face editions. The fuck face edition. Here, uh, I'm staring right at it. All right, Star Wars trilogy, digitally. Re-mastered. So I think these are 2004. Because it says, uh, you know, 77, 97, 04 on New Hope. So I'm guessing this is a 2004 version of the 1997 redone version. See, mine are DVDs. They're from 2008, I think. You don't have this uh, questionable embossed artwork on yours? No, I don't. And, you know, I made a, may have made a mistake because it does mention that it does have the original theatrical movies, but I did read a comment. You just watched the wrong copy. I don't know. Star War. It's on the back of the disc. There's no there. There's it's not the disc you flip. Uh, (laughs) So I did read in one of the comments for one of the new box sets that they say they have the theatrical version and the person's like, it doesn't. So maybe I got it. It was the uh, 1997 theatrical version. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Well, that's that's maybe that's it, you know? Digitally remastered and original theatrical movies. So I got to I got to try again. Anyways, I bought Paul, this. Can you buy the original trilogy on Blu-ray no. or DVD without the modifications? No, you cannot. Okay, Paul knows. Isn't that insane? Yes. Paul? 
<laughs> it is indeed insane. There was hope that now that once Disney had taken over, that they would yeah, do kind of the originals or whatever, but there has not been any of that yet. So, so you cannot get the original cut on Blu-ray. Anyways, I was just saying that I tried to watch New Hope a while ago, and I only got a half hour in before CG lizards almost made me throw my <laughs> TV out the fucking window. See what you actually the 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 one that you actually want to get is the it's it's uh, which one is that? Is it revisited? No, right. There, there is fan cut is not really the right way to call it, but it's called Star Wars Revisited. So they are New Hope Revisited and Empire. Thumb drive. Uh, and, 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 and Empire and Revisited. And, and it's actually a guy. It. It's a guy who has actually gone in and color corrected all the special editions. He has reshot certain scenes. He has flipped the direction of scenes so that there's. And Paul's dead. Paul died. He's dead. Matt and I are still here. Yeah. So. That's <laughs> enough about Star Wars. You, you, you died, Paul. Apparently. Uh, <laughs> yes, Anyways, get the, the Revisited. You can get them for free. <laughs> and they're awesome. They're, they're, what the, they're, they're, what, they're what the special edition should have been. Color right, corrected, Paul. new sound, everything. Paul, what'd you get? Nothing. Moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving 2019. Keep it moving 2019. And also, No More Chunks 2020 is a new one. Sounds oh. good. Okay. So... What the hell is next? Oh, a topic. A topic, maybe. A, a mini, mini topic. A uh, we have just like a two I don't small know. things. Two, two small, small things. things. So first, <laughs> um, the I, uh, be an hour. <laughs> I was listening to uh, another podcast, Bricks and Bits, earlier this week, and all the hosts of that show had they had a problem with the idea of owning more than one copy of any given Lego set. Paul's frozen in a very funny face. You got to see that face, Matt. It's classic. Oh, He's I having a hard it. time tonight. So they they couldn't understand why you'd want to have more than one copy of a set. Now, they, they perfectly understand something that's armyable, buying multiple CMFs or buying battle packs or just something licensed where the idea is you need a bunch of them. Sure. I th I think that'd be perfectly expandable to like castle or pirates or anything like that or any by Paul any small like people packs but they had a hard time understanding why you'd want to own more than one copy of like Access mystery Rolling machine Arsenal or <laughs> anything from Scooby Doo or you know a Batman set why would you want more than one copy and I just think that the cast of this show find that to be insane uh, i guess we have different sensibilities it's true like i i get it i get why most people would only buy one of something um but i mean when we're talking clearance and you know i'm not going to go buy 10 axle rolling arsenals at retail but i mean if i'm gonna Warhammer 20k it I I built 20 of them uh no but I guess it's a matter of do you build stuff on your own that's not the set or don't you because if you if you couldn't even imagine building something on your own then then you'd never need two of the same set but I, I think you, you never need any Lego if you're not going to build anything on your own <gasps> Hey, Paul. Hi. He's <laughs> trepidatious. I was just, just trying to catch up to what, to what you guys are saying before I said anything. Uh, we're talking about bricks and bits. Paul, do you, do you own multiple copies of any Lego set? Yes. Two is a multiple. Two yes, or more. Yep. What, do you, what do you own multiples of? Uh, the easiest one is Voltron, I suppose, is the, is the quickest uh, example of that, most recent example of that. I have two Voltrons. And Paul's dead. Uh, Paul's have dead. I bought more than one? Oh. Jesus. Have I bought more than one? Or do I have more than one that I just play? So you own two for like the lion mode and the robot mode, I assume, right? Yes. I have two for display of that one. I have bought multiple of many sets for the pieces. So, so I guess it really depends I'm on gonna, what the question is. I'm going to exclude Voltron from this because... 
Matt and I were talking plan. about how Transformers kind of lend themselves to getting two uh, if you want to have one in one mode and one in the other mode. Okay. And Ultron is basically a Transformer. I so, also have two of the... Uh, I've got two of the Grit Wall set, for example. There's, there's another one that's relatively recent. I have two of that which one. You, which were built to code and combined into one wall. You, the back of the box shows four of them connected. So. Just like like you have. You have, more, you have four of those, I think. Um, yeah. Yes. Although yeah, I, I'm so, fixing to part them out at some point. Sure. Uh, but yeah, so if, if the question is, do I have multiples to display as as, instru as instructed? I do. Uh, not many, but I do have a couple. Uh, if the question is, have I bought more than one of a, of, of a specific set? Many more than, than just those couple that I have for display. Because uh, yeah, for the pieces... You've bought doubles for pieces because that's something you can do with LEGO. Because that potential exists. Paul's having a real tough time tonight, but I think we got the answer out of him. So, I don't know if Paul will be able to keep up with our topics. They're so rapid fire, so delicious. But the other thing uh, I witnessed, I guess witness is a good word for it, is I, so I watched this video by Retro Blasting, which is a channel I've never seen before. One, two, two. Oh. <laughs> he does on, bust, bust then with to expand We're on that. To expect, yeah, he's going to expand now. He's just cycling. He's going to drop again soon. I watched this video by Retro Blasting, which is a channel that talks about old toys, and mm -hmm. they did an episode all about Lego Classic Space, the mid '80s Classic Space to be specific, and they, it was like a love letter to Classic Space and and having them as a child in that there was no direction. There was no rules. There was just, here's some astronauts. What are they doing? Who knows? They're getting by on alien landscapes. It's all up to you to figure out what the adventure is going to be, what the story is going to be, what the, what the challenges are going to be. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's great. That's I thought I was so in line with that. I believe the licensed IPs are not as good as unlicensed IPs. I'll always take the do whatever you want, come up with your own story, have an imagination. Don't just buy a replica of something you saw on TV, Lego sets. That's that's me. Yeah. Uh, but then he goes on to say that when then he just dismantles your entire. Yeah, I, I thought I was like, man, this guy would get along, I guess. Um, then he says that in 87, when they came out with Blacktron and all the subsequent space sub themes after Blacktron, he thought that space got a lot worse because they're, t they're giving you parts of the story. They're telling you what to do in a way. They're telling you these are bad guys. Those are good guys. These ones are using magnets for all sorts of purposes. And I mean, I guess I, I thought that Blacktron and Space Police and Mtron and Futuron and all that, I thought they were harmless enough to the overall story that I could, I could understand. All right. There was first, there was space. Then there was good guys and bad guys in space. I thought that was fine. I wasn't mm -hmm. upset with that. I thought the imagination level didn't go down. He did. He did think that that went down. And the the innocence of, of classic space was forever tainted after Blacktron came out, which is definitely good on you, Blacktron. Yeah. Um, that leads me into asking Paul a question, but he's not here right now. But so we, we can discuss. Can um, discuss. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty hipster to take it that far, <laughs> <laughs> especially given how beloved those are. So it's kind of like, does he think that or is he just trying to have a different, differing opinion? Because like Blacktron is, who doesn't like Blacktron? This guy, apparently. Um, that being said, is offering black spaceships with yellow, like, yellow canopies just because they suggested they're the bad guys is it that bad does it ruin lego so Hi. i don't know what the 
what the literature, what the the commercials and all that were like back there in real time. You can go back and look at some of them now, but I don't know how it was perceived then. But the idea that there is space police, space police and black pretty, Tron suggested pretty easy a story. concept to to uh, get a, get behind the space police and that they had prison cells and then a black Tron figure was in the prison cell. That's kind of all you need to know, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, all you need to know to have a story. But you could say the same thing about City. It's like, oh, this guy's wearing a hat. And then they put the guy with the hat into a cop car. So now he's a cop. I could have made him anything, but now he's a cop. It's like, take him out and make him do whatever you want, you know? Yeah. They're not forcing you to follow the story. I mean... You will. Some kids will, but you can still make Black Tron the good guys if you really want. Because I think we talked about it. We definitely talked about it before. Look at pirates. Pirates were in history like the bad guys, but in Lego sets, the pirates have bigger sets, cooler stuff than and, the soldiers. The, the theme is called pirates. It's not called colonial uh, you know, soldiers the, the soldiers and the perils of what happens when they go to sea yeah it's called pir- like pirates for kids they were the good guys in this situation if there had to be a good guy versus bad well, guy which... they were the guys you were supposed to role play and yeah. get behind and want their stuff you know so yeah you know lego's never been one to force the idea that you shouldn't want to play both sides, you know, play. It's harmless, right? They're pirates. Be a pirate. Play with the pirates. Play with Electron. Play with the space police if you want. But they never, back then, suggested one should win over the other. That's but they, they certainly characterized them. But eventually, it's like, you know what? When they did space, the spaceships were blue and gray. And they had blue spacemen in them. And then, you know, they had different colored spacemen, but then they wanted to go a little slicker, so they made black ones with black spacemen in them. And then they did red with red, and so on and so forth. And, you know, you don't have to follow the rules. It's not like the instruction... The box didn't say anything, and the instructions didn't tell you what to do, other than how to build. Look at any... Uh, Lego police station ever. The criminals are like convicts, I should say, seem to have very little issue escaping. Yes. If it was like play with this police station, be the police, they're clearly the good guys, then why would the criminals be escaping? Be able to break them out. You know, the main play function is that the criminals escape, and that's how the sets are advertised. Pretty much a hundred percent of the time, other than like make sure you play with the helicopter as well. Got to play with the helicopter, Paul. Before you die again, here yeah, is thank your God question. I'm today. <laughs> yeah, right. This would be a lonely show, Paul. Before you die, if they made in the next wave of architecture sets an unlicensed architecture micro build, original building. An not original based on a real idea building. of architecture in the same scale as the rest of the architecture says. Not that they're all in the same scale, but you know, black box, smaller than minifig scale. Well done. Put it up on your lawyer cabinet. If they make an original concept, would you buy it? <sighs> oh, I don't know. Oh. I can always, I can always just build my own if it's going to be something that is doesn't exist anywhere. Why would I? That. Why would I do that, that, Matt? Look at that. He said no. But like, it all depends, I suppose. If it looked really, if it looked really cool and had parts pieces that I didn't want to like, that I didn't really feel like going and and trying to source, maybe. But in general, architecture sets are all very common pieces. So if it's architecture specifically, I don't know if I would or not. If it's if it's just some random building um, that I don't that, that 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 has no recognition anywhere. Um, what what yeah. what like huge connection do you have to like 
the UN building in Manhattan. Well, it's 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 not it's it's also part of the recognition that others would have towards it too. So, so for the the he's the, waiting for someone to come over and see your shelf. Well, go, that's exactly oh. he's a worldly guy, so he has friends. They come over and they go, "Oh heck, that's that UN building from Manhattan, the place I'm from." Paul, where did you get this? <laughs> Sometimes, get sure, at the UN. <laughs> Sometimes, sure, uh, and the, but but yeah. So so for that, it's again for that specific display for the for the architecture display. It's it's more about a classy looking display that other people can kind of go in and see. And, and and it's it's one that my wife is okay having on display as opposed to again my my Poe Dameron X Wing fighter. She doesn't really like that one out as much uh, or 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 whatever. Whereas whereas the other ones can can still be out and still look kind of neat and and. And look nicer, and still be a display that looks nice, and it's not just one that's cluttered with toys. It looks more like something that could be a display. Here's so a question. if they made they made a completely unique skyline. Maybe it's like a little bit futurist, like a futurist skyline. Or what if they had a skyline series set that was one architect like historical architectural style, and they're like, this is the brutalist. Skyline. This is the maybe. Like, this is the futurist skyline, something like that. What I if might. they had those? Would you be like, I can appreciate this. I love Adam Reed Tucker's hair. I'm gonna buy this and put it up on the shelf. Or would Potentially. you go? That's not a thing I can go see, so I don't want it. No, I, I, there's this potential that I might get it because like I bought the mini modular set, and those buildings don't actually exist either, I suppose, and they're in the kind of same vein as like a skyline set i guess so so for those yeah do you have the do you have the mini modular set built and displayed i do well i did before moving i did yes would you buy an architecture set of the canadian house of commons i don't see why i wouldn't i mean he's got the marina bay sands it's like how many times you've been there paul I've Never, just but we have friends who did and who have been there. <laughs> the same people Somebody, who got me the uh, the Chinese New Year sets. <laughs> would you buy? Would you buy a, a Lego architecture set of the West Edmonton Mall? Uh, I don't know about a mall. I said big mall. On it's really one. big. <laughs> the big mall. It's big, yeah. bro. It's got a submarine in it, bro. I have been there, but uh, but I don't know if I like it enough that Biggest I would like mall to get there. Biggest mall in Canada, man. Oh man, he's been there, but he still wouldn't buy it. <laughs> he still wouldn't buy it. That racist That's motherfucker. Just, you're breaking all your own rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's my collection that I like. You have what I like to collect. I don't. I don't. I'm, I don't feel slavish to to collecting it. I get, but for the most part, I like to complete the line. But you have both the, that the case. Uh, Burj Khalifa. I do. I actually also have one that uh, that I'm putting together with the more metallic looking uh, uh, kind of pieces as well, just to kind of get it a little more uh, to give it a little more flash. A bling bling. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Matt and I both thought you'd be like, of course I'd buy it. Uh, it, it it's I guess it, it depends. I, I likely I, I, I likely would, but I but I suppose it, it really does depend. That's why we call him Flip Flop Paul. Well, it's just it that that's not what the line is. The the architecture line is supposed <laughs> to be about one. buildings that actually exist. <laughs> so did that's, you buy the architecture the studio? I did. For I don't book. exist. I bought it for the book. Uh-huh. <laughs> you can just well, you can also just now, buy the book. That's now you did. can buy the book. Yes, you bought that at my recommendation to buy just the book, and you looked at it that day. You looked it up and then bought it. You wouldn't Where have is otherwise. <laughs> is it like yeah. right here? <laughs> the white it, one on the left. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The book. I was looking it's for white, book. but the spine is yellow. Uh. Ugh. Disgusting. The yeah, so it, yellow it's, uh, spine. It all depends on the on the, the the need, I suppose. But that line specifically is supposed to be for building. So if they started adjusting the line, you know, if they go from from stylized vehicle, realistic vehicles to tune accurate, I don't know if I would change it to that. I don't know if I would change what, that. Did you? That. I forget. Did you say you had the the factory skyline set from years ago? Uh yes, yes, I do. I think the only thing that's real in there is the Statue of Liberty, right? 
No, they're all supposed to be something. It's the only one that actually looks like the thing is, I suppose, the Statue of Liberty. But there's also like the there's the Sears Tower one that's supposed to be the Sears Tower, but in comparison, doesn't really look like the Sears Tower. I don't think I looked at them close enough to realize they were supposed to be something. Yeah, they they were supposed to be something, and that was part of the reason as well as a, as, as kind of why we wanted it at the time. Now, like our, our tastes and collections have, or just kind of overall aesthetic has changed. I don't know if we if we would have wanted it now, but it was really cool to have at the time. All right, final question, Paul. Would you buy an architecture set that was just Adam Reed Tucker's hair? <laughs> if it was like, just, it's just from, the bus. From, from here, windows, from, so here up, from eyebrows up, just a, <laughs> just a dome with, with hair. Like like you, Mr. Potato Head style, you could build all kinds of different hairstyles on top of his head. Damn it, Paul, he's frozen again. I'll never get to know if he wants the hair set. He always freezes with that face, at least. That's that's a uh, that's a thumbnail face right there. That's a you show your teeth, it's automatically the thumbnail. That's gonna that's, be the uh... that's the rule. <laughs> so we can we can both just like point down at Paul and open our mouths, and then that'll automatically be the thumbnail because algorithms. So, so that was our other little topic with or without Paul. Mm-hmm. Uh. One quick thing before we get to the bracket is that uh, Chuck C. He is a uh, I don't know I forget if he's actually been on the show or not. He's in the like gets an invite every week list, but I'm not sure if he's been on the show or not. He keeps trolling us with this bracket, saying that he wants 1982 to win, which is not in the bracket. It was a 32 slot bracket. I started with 2019. I worked backwards. It didn't go as far as 1982. It's not how math works. So we're going to take a real brief look at 1982 to see that Chuck is full of shit and that it would never win. I don't think he honestly wants 82 to win. I think he just keeps yelling about a year that's outside of the bracket. So you ready to see what 1982 looks like? Let's do it. Point, point, point. We're gonna do this one. Let's see We're gonna check. do this one. We're gonna do this one. It has sixty-eight entire sets that consist of town, technic, space, fabuland, and duplo. And that's Kay. basically it. This is my view when I go looking for pictures. So the mobile rocket transport is pretty dope. It's pretty cool. It's dope. Yeah. It's dope. Uh, Homemaker was still a thing. Look at this little boy right here. So this was... was, Playmobil set. (laughs) What was the year the minifigure hit? Uh, 78. 78. So not all sets had converted to the minifigure. No, in fact, some of the Homemaker sets used minifigures as babies. That's disgusting. (laughs) Uh, but, you know, you get breakdown assistance. You get cool town stuff like this. This is within the years of minifigures could actually get into the vehicles. Yeah. Before that, they couldn't. Okay. What, what does that say? Skeletons. It says, it says telephone. <laughs> it says telephone. Telephone? It's, it's a skeleton booth. You don't have those in... <laughs> Skeleton? Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, I don't even know what you're talking about. This one is horrifying. What the fuck is that? Like battle pack? Yeah, but it's but it's like <laughs> everyone has two clones of themselves. I like how the motorcycle men look like spacemen, but they have axes and crowbars. Oh is man, this, that's like that's a cool ass gang. Is this the city it's riot two pack. Wrenches and this an is axe. why eighty two wins because they have a city riot pack. Chuck, we take everything back. This. This red uh, red onesie with the white pigtails chick right here. Raging shovel, grandmas. A shovel, uh, a megaphone, megaphone and, and a I crowbar. can't even tell. An additional shovel. So Fabuland was, was stacking it to the moon. Okay, animal heads. Um, uh, the next Furries. row up, sorry, above the Lego spaceship there. What is this universal motor set? Um, it had the little, I don't know, however many Electric volts. Electric motor? Whatever volts you wanted. It had a wire that connected to this big old rod with batteries in it. 
You just rotted everything. Rot it up, man. Oh, Paul has left the shelf. He's on the couch. He's near the modem. Yep, trying to. I think they're they're screwing with my Wi-Fi. Say. It's removing. We're gonna see Paul's city skyline here. <laughs> the pole. So there's only three classic space sets this year. Is that Cosmic Cruiser? Sure. And a Surface Explorer. As you would. It does have the arms, which yeah. were always dope. Arms. So that's, that's it. There's a, there's a few little boats with these like sectional hull pieces. Um, yeah, this truck's got wheels. Like, whoa. <laughs> they jacked up that suspension and the skate. Wait, on the side of that vehicle, is that like a skateboard across the road truck? That's the Autobahn logo <laughs> for you know, oh. highways in other countries. But he's he's grinding a double rail. He's this fucking is. dark sliding it. No, he's not. <laughs> Yo, what you know about dark slides? Bruh. Tony Hawk 2, bruh. Bruh. Pro I've been getting feet. really into skateboarding lately. Well, this is it, man. This is the year. You got Fabuland. You have Basic. You got Technic. Okay, so I'm just going to say space, it. A little bit of town. The 82 is not in the bracket at all. But we'll just assume whatever wins is the second best year for Lego. Because 80, 82 it. wins. Because 82 <laughs> wins. By default. Indisputed. This is this, you know, fully modern minifigures, but there there's only smiles so far. Hang on, that's the classic cop attack pack. That's the <laughs> fucking police brutality pack. <laughs> Were those stickered or are they actually printed? Printed. Oh, for sure printed. That's Sticker would have been that's earlier. The police brutality fun pack. <laughs> and tons of Fabuland, though. Mini Shifty. fig of the year, 82, right there. <laughs> Shifty eye Duplo. Pampers gift pack is with diapers. Guilty child. <laughs> <laughs> that child just shit there. What's back. that squirrel yeah, he pooped. doing? He pooped. What? What's that squirrel doing? <laughs> he's got a bat or something like that. <laughs> oh, this one? He's got bread, man. Right. What he's the hell? He's, he's so bread, crazy. You know? He's the bread slinger. I think he, I think this may actually win based on Oh, this. wait. <laughs> but he's, 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 wait, like, go land. back. He is dreaming of rocket packing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sticker right there. <laughs> That's amazing. They're okay. all dreaming of something. What does that dog have? This one has a rug beater and a vacuum. <laughs> and, and dreaming of beating a rug. At least they're dreaming of what they're doing. When you say has... dog, which one's the dog? Well, I guess it's a Marjorie mouse. mouse. That's the dog. Oh, what is that weird keys for wind up motor? There, look at that. 1205. And the left. I see it. I see. It. I'm trying to see if there's actually a wind up motor set in here so I could show you what that plugs into. I'm pretty sure it plugs into roller skates. I don't know that there would have been a wind. There should be a wind up motor this year. <laughs> Jokes on us. The wind up motor only came out in eighty. I like that little Lego truck. They give you extra keys because you lost yours. If you scroll down a few, there's a cool little Lego truck. That oh, is that a Lego truck or is that a mail truck? It's, it's a mail truck. It's pretty dope though. He can that, do it it's Lego. got a French horn on it. That's the Royal Mail horn. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, you got yeah, royal yeah, yeah. man. No. <clears throat> this is what that uh, rod with batteries in it looks like. The battery rod. <laughs> the now battery with ex- rod. now with extender. It's four point five volts. Plug this shit in. It won't shock you. No, it's only four point five volts. You'd Was that right. a pack of just fences? Fences uh, yeah. and gates. Fences and gates. All right, that's that's fucking enough, Chuck. You gotta get in here and defend 1982, or admit that you're just making it all up. Look at this: the third largest set of the year roof is roof bricks. bricks. <laughs> that's only a fraction of how many you get in this set. Well, I mean, how else were you gonna build roofs for the uh, riot? And, red. and then I don't know what the deal is with all these old micro scale, like big cruise ships, but. They've made a lot of these over the years. <laughs> and can you sh- can you show us the biggest set basic building set five plus five plus? Ooh, cypress tree! Look at all those horses and camels, people in white robes. Yo, <laughs> pretty houses, horses, Cam- camels, camels, people in uh. Are those supposed trains? to be 
ethnicities. That is a turban. They're through. in the Middle East. Really. <laughs> is that is that supposed to be? In... Oh, now there it is. There's the winder. So there's there a motor. Is. So this thing, this whole <laughs> monstrous thing with the wheels on it, is the motor, and you'd wind it up with this key because you know pullback's not a thing. Not an eighty-two beige. Apparently not. <laughs> All right. Trake op motor. Updagvar motor. Vita motor. All right. So we got a real bracket to get to, right? We got a real bracket. We got a real bracket, and it's tonight. Did we do our two small topics? I forget. Yeah, we did. Yeah, sick. Paul, would you buy the Adam Reed Tucker um, hair? Create your own haircut set? It would be a, a like a Star Wars UCS bust set, I, I guess. With the but it's way only it the eyebrows, though, and you have to get him to sign it. <laughs> well, I probably could get him to sign it because uh, I'm not too far from. Uh, I'm his neighbor. Lost <laughs> uh, so tonight, 1997. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna. He's moving because he bought Adam Reed Tucker's old house. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great answer. So 1997 is going to win. I'm going to put it out there right now. 1997 oh, yeah, not is going to win the entire you, bracket. But, not to be like... You it's going to barely be out 1982, though. let's be honest. But it's it's going to win the entire thing. Waiting on some photos. Now, it's my understanding we got to fucking speed up this bracket segment. This bracket's been taking us In my long. absence, it's been getting out of hand. Listen up, Paul. We got space a space nine ostrich. Nine. This is Robo Raptor from the Robo team, which only had four sets. Yeah, uh, sick. The Hydronauts. I don't like the green. green. I don't like the green, but I do love the, the vessel. Oh, oh, Paul's dead. Bye, Paul. Can you see me? I can see you guys. Yeah, we hear you. Cutting in and out, man. These are actually kind of cool. This is I like uh, Model Team. Model Team all had alternate builds, so that's what this yeah. one down here is. But this is the, I think it's called Bigfoot 4x4. Four oh, four. It's pretty dope. Model Team. Fright Knights. Night. This is the big castle from Fright Knights, which is probably definitely the tallest castle ever. Uh, nope, Disney Castle is probably taller. Doesn't but count. That, that don't count. This has been recently <laughs> homaged in the new CMF line. Homage. Homage. Well, at least it wasn't homaged, because uh, you know that's for <laughs> jackals. Uh, Pirates was reaching a bitter end. This is the the very very tail end of Pirates when they're up against the Spaniards, the yeah. Imperial Armada, with their sweet conquistador helmets. <laughs> I mean, so this is Pirates. We may have been getting tired of Pirates, but then we got sweet helmets. So. Bruh, okay. have you seen these sweet helmets? New life. Divers was introduced, and man, was I into this. Not so much for, like, I didn't really care about all these new animals we were getting. But... Stingrays. Okay. Sorry, I like the stingray. So the significance of this set is that they're still making it today. Yeah. Like, it's the same set. It's like, they just did it last year in City, didn't they? Did they not? They did. The... And this, uh, this theme completely changed the elevation of how you were building. Now, all of a sudden, not everything was on the same plane anymore. Yeah. You're underwater and you're on the surface of the water. Yeah. And you're in between with these submarines. Yeah. I had this set. This was my consolation. I wanted the biggest set in the theme was a direct to consumer set. You only get it from for call and shop at home. This is before the website was up. And I went to Toys R Us on my way to my grandparents' house. I wanted that big diver set. I had the money for it. They didn't have it. Not that I would have known that because I didn't know what the cryptic hard to find meant in the in the catalog. It means you got to call them and order it. Right. Uh, so I got this one. This is like the second biggest set in the theme. And uh, somehow it was always a letdown because it wasn't the one I wanted. But it's still great. It's probably the best set in the theme. I kind of want to see the biggest set <laughs> it's uh it it's a be submersible here, right? and it's like a huge boat that uh can hold the submersible it should be oh featured, yeah and right? a helicopter right maybe <laughs> what paul it should be featured in the in the slideshow i think right no no i only grabbed this one actually there's quite a few that 
This one has a lot more going on, so I chose this one. Uh, I oh, I see. Does it have like a shark cat? cage and like more treasure and stuff? Maybe I forget. It's the one with the the big boat on the surface, and um, yeah, literally every set has a boat on the surface. No, a big boat, <laughs> a much bigger boat than these boats. Oh yeah, yeah it's, it's a whaling ship, <laughs> or the deadliest catch ship. Yeah. So this thing split. This thing's on hinges. It opened up, and there's all this shit you can do inside, and the the roof flipped open. You can really get in there and do some experiments and stuff. And then there's divers and wreckage and all kinds of cool shit. Yeah, Next, I... Outback. All four of its sets were awesome in their own way. This is the uh, Outback airstrip. with Complete with tipped over gas cans <laughs> and radio. And an axe on a tire. Now, what I like about this is that it's you can called Outback. From one set to the other? It's called Outback, which evokes Australia. But it also looks like an apocalypse just happened so it's very <laughs> mad max i mean just because a can is knocked over doesn't mean the apocalypse is coming i down. mean who there's two guys there neither of them are cutting the fucking grass so <laughs> <laughs> look at that grass it's all wild it's out of hand that's not Hot a well maintained the second year for this theme we saw the bad guys for i guess the first time also we featuring just... a fright night shield Yes, did, did we just not have any time twisters when the time cruisers were out? We didn't get any of them at all until the second wave? I mean, someone was twisting time while the other was cruising. But you could argue that they went into the future, and that's why they weren't there. Mm. What if all the time cruising opened up a, a wormhole that allowed the time twisters Twisting to come into to the, to to the known world? Or maybe the time cruisers went ahead so far that they came out time twisted. Oh God! Oh, it's it's blew my mind. Over. Shit! Are now the twisters? Fuck! You know who the ghosts are? Them. The cruisers. <laughs> oh, they're space ghosts coming to stop. Coast to coast. All right. Twisties. Uh, Paradisa. I've highlighted this one because what pink. the hell is happening? You know what? I like it. <laughs> this one is a big what the fuck. I, I the, the the there's so many little things that don't seem to be going together to form. Is that a story. wheel that spins and it's like Love, you get a butterfly, butterflies, flowers, sun. deadly UV rays, skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> they do have the same stereo as an Outback, though. As the Outback, that's an old, so you could. It's Sony. Sony guts. <laughs> so this one was a surprise to me to see this show up in '97. This is the very beginning of Town Junior. This is like the only example in '97 that I could find of the juniorization, and boy, did it hit heavy in the following years. But this is the very early Town Junior right here. The idea was that it's easier to build the structure and the vehicles, um, but still offering kind of larger sets that look like full Lego builds. Yeah, yeah. I guess the I also, cool thing about this is that you could build this and still look like you're playing with the same Lego as your brother. Yeah, just like the, the Juniors and the 4 Plus sets right now. It's, yeah. it's all the same size pieces. Okay, hang on. Paul disappeared off the couch and reappeared in another room. <laughs> I'm going to keep moving around. I think <laughs> he was killed place. by his doppelganger and replaced. Oh. I'm uh, I'm a time twister ghost now. Yeah. This is uh, Rapid River Village, the Western. So the, the end of Western was all the indigenous peoples and none of the cowboys anymore. They're all gone. Awesome. And also featured the buffalo hat. Tatanka. Gesundheit. <laughs> This is a great set. Paul, that sound just sounded like when, when somebody leaves the when they when they sign off a well it's the messenger. Tatonka. Chitong. <laughs> UFO Yo Yes. So much yes. These sets were awesome. You're only seeing one of them. This Not whole line was sick. 
It's not the one I have, but I do. But I, the, it's, it's not the one of the ones one. I have. But this I do. This thing, like. the 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 lower dish spun. Um, there was another one that had like a motor that and lights, fiber optics, fiber yeah. optic lights. Like these sets were pretty sick and really yeah. cool. I, mean, like, they, I guess they get a little bit of flack for those big quarter circle panels, and it's like slap it together, it's done. But there were so many ways to play with this. They all had like deployable vehicles. I mean, yeah, I don't know if this one could be considered a vehicle, but hey, the androids were like third rate citizens. You know, got, like when you compare shit. when you compare this to previous space lines, it seems really nineties and gimmicky. But when you really get into the playability and how cool everything looked and how tech like they look very techy and futuristic, uh I don't know. I think they were pretty dope. These shoulder pads and this helmet captivated me like nothing else <laughs> there there was no going back to like town after this came out no i I was, a, I was a space boy after this came out yeah no doubt no, no longer a town boy technic was doing a thing and that's when <laughs> i became a technic boy <laughs> it's tom I never, servo I, I, i'll never become a technic boy <laughs> it no it's not tom servo it's crow t robot <laughs> Clearly. Oh yeah, there's definitely crow. <laughs> a crody robot that can become a crody helicopter. <laughs> crow you you know what's great with, with the uh, with the um, the transparency here to show movement. It's almost like one of those Animorphs book covers. Yeah, it's turning into a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> turning into like a bug or like a cow. I don't know what this is. Is it an animal on four legs running? <laughs> I assumed it was some sort of construction vehicle. I think it's got like I these think the legs, legs move here. as it rolls because it's those got are fucking legs. So it's a, dra- I it's think a dag it's leg because it's got like an animal head up here, which looks like it might go up and down. I think a lot of stuff moves when you roll it, dag but uh, you know he's got different facial expressions, ready for action, and uh, pretty all right. Yeah, it's like a cheetah. It's a cat. It's got fangs. So, I'm not saying this is the best Technic set of the year. I'm just saying this is the one I wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 that set is crazy. It was advertised as being XXL models. Where are you pulling this information from? The internet. Are you just like looking everything up on the side? This is what yes. he's been researching in this time gone. He's been checking out all 19... Are you looking the... at the brick set list like where I pulled them from? I'm on the dark web, bro. <laughs> He's on the darkest web. So that's it. That that's the whole ninety-seven. Thoughts? It's great. Great variety. Let's all see the loser of now. It's great. <laughs> Let's see the loser. Let's see the loser now. No, he said eighty-two was good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, I'm so ready to stop pulling photos every week. <laughs> We're what gonna have we got? all the photos ready to go. Oh man! All, okay. All the photos are like gonna be here and ready, and we're gonna look at them and be like, I remember looking at all these photos several times. Okay, movie studios. Studios. Uh, this was the second year for studios, so we had some of the off the wall things. Like this is the crazy scientist studio. There's this like a special hotbed uh, guy. There's this very brand monster. new Frankenstein headpiece. Well, hang on. First of all, you called the monster Frankenstein right after the scientist. Uh, does he have studs on the side of his head you can attach yeah. it to? <laughs> yes. Okay, 2002 wins. Sorry. <laughs> Why does he have coffee mugs on his head? I don't know. <laughs> Just does. Have a contest. What's the best thing you can connect with both sides of his head? <laughs> okay, so there's this really funny meme I saw, and it's like they just they found one of Mary Shelley's lost manuscripts. And it's an alternate ending for Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And it says, like, it's like the last page. And it's like, and then Frankenstein's monster boarded the boat and looked back and said, it's cool if people want to call me Frankenstein. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Problem solved. That's some funny shit. Anyways. <laughs> Went a literary on you guys. Um, All right, this was the first Legos Ideas set. Kind of. 
I call it the Schmied de Verschkestadt. <laughs> I think it looks pretty sweet. But half of that it's could be also the box. four pieces. It was the half original. The, box. the original design was by Daniel Siskin, the guy who runs Brickmania. Uh, I'm not sure what was changed from the original to the one produced. If anything, I'm not sure if they were interested in changing things back then. Just like whatever print. Well, they changed one thing. They renamed the blacksmith Anton. <laughs> Uh, this the is a uh, train. They had a lot of the my own train stuff back then, where it was trains that were made specifically for old train dude collectors. <laughs> That's a cool train, though. Yeah, I'm not a train guy, but I I think it looks pretty cool. The train, yeah, the trains back then, where it's like, look, kids ain't gonna want these. We know they're not gonna want these. These are for you old dudes. And here's a real fancy box to make you feel like you're not buying a kid's toy. Yeah. This box has so little effort put into it. You're going to love it. But it has black and gold. Very uh, stately. Yeah, this is a thing. Um, I'm fairly certain these are those little one-piece things with the neck racket, their neck stud coming out. So it's just heads on a On a, on a car. <laughs> awesome. And they had all these gigantic road pieces that you could connect together on the bottom side and just make this Hot Wheels track of... Now, these came complete with both track and pullback motor. Which, it by this time, did exist. <laughs> yes. As it is 20 years later. They they made the pull... The first pullback motor was invented in 2001. <laughs> um... This is an example of what Harry Potter looks like in And here looks like know. another snake I've got beef with, but this is a beef <laughs> snake. <laughs> a snake beef. I don't know what the hell this is, but I know it's got some really expensive pieces in it. Yeah, like the, the like uh, the, roots. the phoenix here. Oh yeah. And the snake has glow in the dark. Did I mention the phoenix? I guess it's a basilisk. I'm going to assume is what that is. What, the snake? Yeah, that one specifically. I mean, is that just a fancy word for snake? No, it's no. a very, very large snake. But, so, uh, anaconda. <laughs> they got Pretty. snakes out there this big? We, we already got a word for big snake, and it's anaconda. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the it's movie the boa anaconda titan. came that's, out that's before a... Harry Potter. You guys ever seen a boa titan skeleton? No. no. That's like the... Would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> Joanna one? Joanna? <laughs> so so this uh, snake here has glow-in-the-dark knives as teeth, which is pretty expensive. Oh, yes. I mean... Uh, Alpha I'm... Team! Mission Deep Sea, a.k.a. the second wave Alpha Team. Ogle now has a trans red, red hook, hook hand. Yeah. And uh, Dash has... No eyes. No eyeballs. Yes. <laughs> He's Asian. I do like the trans neon green spear. Yep. As well as their helmets. Yeah. And this set it's so looks a lot cooler not in this, this picture. picture. It's if you find alternate pictures of this set, it's it's a pretty cool like underwater sea lab kind of thing yeah it's got a skull on the front of it yeah it's pretty dope this picture makes it look like it's not that great and it splits in half uh revealing you know the play features in the, oh there's big tridents in this set too they're like bionicle weapons yeah because why not lego island extreme stunts which is a <laughs> spin-off of lego island the pc game this is also its own game for PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, something, and, I don't know, less than optimal pra platforms. But this is a, a theme that gave you flashy new colors. All the tan is not tan. It's light yellow, which Gross. is not used very much, but it's using this. Uh, it's very juniorized. It's so specific but, too. <laughs> island extreme stunts. It's not like it's just it's got to be on the island. Lego Island yes. extreme 
stunts. Well, these stunts are illegal in most your... continents. So. That's right. <laughs> they can, uh, this, they can this, uh, us. The characters all had names in this in this theme, and they were all great. Like uh, Snap Locket. Oh, I was going to say like Fast McSpeedins. <laughs> I, I forget the, the, the Speedy female McDrive character's back. name, but one of, the, one of them is Snap Locket. And he ain't got no pants on. <laughs> the uh, I don't know if this is the first edition of the dropship gunship whatever it is, but it is the one that features Jedi Bob. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he's on the box labeled as Jedi Bob. They made up a Jedi. Yeah, I don't know where the Bob would have came from if it wasn't on the box. So I'm assuming it's on the box as Jedi Bob. Sure. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> No, I kind of want the, Jedi Bob. Uh, metallic, you got the metallic blue super battle droids in this set. That's I'm hitting cool. brick link. Yep, you got Yoder. Check. Huh. You got Yoder. And yeah, we got one. We got a, We just got one like last week too. Which one do you like? I'm better? getting no results for Jedi Bob. <laughs> That's his name. Where are you searching? Jedi Dark, Bob. Dark Web. Where? Bricklink. Dark Web. Paul, which Yoda do you like better? Paul's dead now. Okay. Paul's dead. You killed. You killed him. All right. So they did a bunch of the big Technic Star Wars things this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is the second year for them. So it wasn't all of them in one year. But this really year better? had. The R2 and C3PO. It had the uh, Django Fett. It had the Darth Vader. I think had a few of them. I don't think it had all of them. This is the Django Fett. It's a thing. Sure. It looks about as good as the construction figures from last year. Well, the, I'm wondering why they still made those. Because these couldn't have been that popular. Well, everyone who bought Fucking. these and lived to talk about them has since died and everyone and who bought people. them was a grandma for their kid because they yep. were on clearance real fast i got a return request on ebay today from someone who bought the alpha one rocket base poster from me okay and they want to return it because they thought they're buying a lego set for their grandkid that that's a hard decline for me on that return because, like, it's not a picture of a Lego set. <laughs> there is, there is no way and, that you and could plus think they that you're buying they a Lego got, set. And plus, like, you thought you were getting a classic space set for twenty bucks. Thirteen bucks, man. Thirteen bucks. <laughs> Buy it now. Thirteen bucks shipped. Buy it now. So yeah, that's not a thing. It's Paul here. Do I gotta let Paul back in? I'm here. Paul, he's cruising. Just cruising <laughs> around. I literally uh, can't be any closer to Technic the, the had, uh, ooh, Michelin branded tires. And, and HP. And Allianz. So that's a big Technic set. I, I think this is fairly well done. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. I just I'm not a Technic person, but it looks nice. Bahanical had these fucking guys. Dinos? <laughs> Something, man. Actually, they look like the 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 mascots to crave cereal when you actually like when they <laughs> when they eat each other. It looks like those. So this is a uh, Cadoc and Gadoc. They friends. <laughs> and then uh, more on the trains for old dudes front. We had the center fit. Santa Fe Super Chief. I, I want to ride a train like this. Look at these guys. <laughs> Zero Just, fucks given. Yeah, blatant disregard for safety. It's not even like a door next to them. Like, hey, I just jumped out, but I can go back in. It's fine. Madness. The Red Baron. This is cool. Yeah, it's pretty decent. 
but it's not a lot doing of too much. Stickers. It's needs, like you know. It's stupid. And then I included the other UCS set for this year. This one um is valuable. No, th this is like the the strangest of you know how UCS is either a, a sculpture, a playset, or a or a, a ship. ship. This is the strangest one to fall into the ship category because it's basically the same size as any regular system mainline Star Wars set, but they chrome the fuck out of it. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same. It's like the same size as the regular one, but it doesn't have any minifigures. Just R 2s head. There you go. Seems like they could have got one in there. No, I don't know. It's like they didn't know what scale they wanted to go for. I mean, I suppose this might actually be minifigure scale, so much so that you couldn't fit one in. Just imagine, well, he fits the way he should. Just put him away, they, and then he's inside. They frosted the windshield, which <laughs> is put him on, put him in a drawer, and just say he's in there. <laughs> That's why they made the windshield black. I oh, guess and there then was three. If you count the Yoda, then there's three there because the Super Star Destroyer came out. Sorry, the Imperial Star Destroyer came out in 2002, and we just got a new one last month. Last month? God, how many, like, I was just walking through the Lego aisle, and I'm just like, okay, another Millennium Falcon, another AT, AT, or whatever. Fuck. Just, like, the same shit they're every the, year. They're the, they're the Prime and the Bumblebee of, uh, of Star Wars. I mm. guess so. All right, that's that's the year. That's okay. it too. So licenses and a couple cool sets, but also some junk. I mean, ninety seven delivers on the imagination front. The uh, strong continuing of uh, IPs that existed already. Um, some cool innovation in there as well. And setting some new standards in that year. Uh, my vote's 97. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'm, I, I all... Bye, Paul. Um, oh, but, uh, sorry. So I'm, I'm also 97. Kind of as everybody kind of predicted there. But uh, there was... Spit it out, Paul. Do you think he's in the guest bedroom with those minifigures on the wall, or do you think this is uh, the master? <laughs> what we got here? I hope those are minifigures those on the two, wall. There's, there's a couple. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, what, guess, uh, the, the viewers, bedroom. The viewers were bedroom. asking what bedroom. Is this the guest master? Bedroom. Guest bedroom. Guest, guest, and literally uh, right next to the, the router, as you can see over there. Uh, so I can't get any closer. You got your, you got your phone what, plugged what, in. Is that with painting? Ethernet? What's the painting? Is that a still life? Is that a uh, Moroccan no, village? No, that's actually an Ind Indonesian village. There you go. So Paul, uh, yeah, I didn't yes, have sir. to bring out the big guns tonight, but I would, if you had voted for 2002, I would have told you you were wrong because 2002 was the main year for the Lego Legends series, which saw all the big great sets from previous years get reissued, including the Rapid River Village from 97 got reissued in 02. <laughs> and the uh, uh, Black Seas Barracuda and a bunch of other big shit. All those cool sets, they brought them back out in 2002 because 2002 was so weak. Look, see, Paul is just breezing past his minifigure display on the wall. Something we've never seen. Oh, you know, whatever. I keep all these minifigures on the just wall. Just scroll back a few I've seconds from the, this point. I've got the complete collection. No big deal. Uh, you don't need to see these. Also, we're moving in like 48 hours, and I haven't taken these off the these wall These are yet. still on the fucking wall. You asshole, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till he gets back and we, he hears all this conversation like in super speed until it catches up for him. And he's yeah. like, oh, I don't even know how to react to all that. Well, since Paul can't get us out of here, I think we're done here, aren't we? 
Yep, I got to do the honors here of filling in the year that's going to win the whole damn thing, 1997. <laughs> oh, and we kept this under a minute, an hour and ten minutes. Hmm. Pretty deece. Pretty deesh indeed. All right, I got a biz ounce. Uh, Get us out of here, Matt. Come back next week. For episode 104, two-year anniversary. It's a milestone. It's a milestone. We will be dressed to impress. There's other shows. Check them out. Cool Table Network. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's it. It's several buttons to end it. It's not.